Hi! To change the partitions of your hard drive without turning off the computer, press the Windows and X key combination and select Disk Management. The built-in Windows program for working with the hard disk starts. Let's see what it can. Here is a labeled hard drive. First 300 MB allocated by the manufacturer, 100 MB for needs of the hard drive. Then drive C or in my case D because I use my second Windows from D partition. This is a primary partition. Next there is another service hidden partition and then the rest of the disk that we can change. We can change primary partition also. For example, you need to divide partition into two parts. Select the section, click Shrink. The program analyzes the disk and shows how much can be separated from it. Sometimes, very rarely, you will need to do defragmentation to separate more. Rarely, because defragmentation is automatic in Windows 10. Allocate 34 GB. Now we can click on it in this area and create a new volume. Name it and that's it. In a couple of minutes we divided the disk partition without any additional programs. Here are all partitions in front of us. Similarly, you can expand disks. But there is a nuance. If I want to extend drive E and I have the free space right here before it, it doesn't work. Free space should be only after disk E. Then click Extend, set how much and everything works. However, this problem can be solved this way. Create a volume before drive E and copy data to it from drive E. If it doesn't fit, use other drive. Then delete drive E and extend this new partition. And after that, change its letter again through the context menu. So you can change the sections as you want without losing information. You can also create a virtual disk. It is created as a file on some physical drive, either of a fixed size or dynamically expandable. You can also set read only. You need to initialize it like this, make new volume and it appears on the computer as a separate partition. So it's all very simple. There are various third-party programs for working with partitions, including those booted from a USB flash drive or disk, and they do not differ much from this program. Are you agree with that? Write your opinion in the comments. Therefore, use disk management, and in the future Microsoft plans to improve this feature and it should become even better. Let's see. In the meantime, let's click like and subscribe to CNP channel. Click on the bell and watch other videos and improve your computer skills. See you on the air!